Alright, so this is a tutorial on how to put the three-wheel drive brake on a three-wheel skate from Rollerblade. Uh, so this is the RB110. Uh, this should also apply to the Twister 110 and I think that, oh, and the, um, the E2s. Um, so if you want to put the three-wheel drive brake on a three-wheel drive skate, one of those three models, um, this is how you do it. So this skate right here, this is the RB110. Um, and so essentially what, what you're going to need is your skate, you're going to need the brake itself, and when you buy the brake from us it should come with all the hardware, so it should come with two bolts, two axles, like that, and then two screws, okay, and then it should also come with a tool. So you're going to need to do this, so since this skate, these use the race axles which thread directly into the frame, you only need one tool to get the wheels off, but to put the brake on, you're going to need two. So you're going to need two Allen keys, the same size, whatever. I always forget what size, you know, the Allen keys are for, for inline skates, but pretty much it's universal across the board, whatever size Allen key came with your skate. It's the size you're going to need on both sides. So I have two of them here. This is the one that comes with the package. This is just our regular blade tool. You can also buy that from rollerblade.com. Um, so Basically, let's get started. So what you're going to do is, see there's a little post right here. What that's going to do is fit right in between the two and the three wheel. So that's going to sit right up in there. Uh, and then you'll see these two holes. This is where they line up. It has three holes bored into the, the, the brake. Um, for this skate in particular, you're only going to need the, this one and this one. This front one just kind of sits there. So it basically will just sit just like that and let's get started on how to do it all right so you're gonna have to take the axles out of the two and the three wheel and you're not going to need that anymore i would keep these and hang on to them you never know when you need an axle um i always have packs and packs of them i never know when you're gonna lose one when you're gonna need one so take those out put them aside save them somewhere else Save them for a rainy day or whatever. Um, take your brake and put that on and line up as best you can with the holes on the wheels and then take your axle part. So there's remember there's an axle, that's the long part, and then there's the screw. So take the axle, that's going to go all the way through the brake, through the frame, through the wheel, and then into the other side. So you're going to might be a little tricky because you have to get the wheel lined up and then the spacer inside the bearings lined up as well. A lot of things that you're just trying to get lined up here. So that goes in. Get that back wheel done the same way. Line that up. Like I said, it can be kind of tricky. There we go. That was actually pretty smooth. Normally I'd have to fumble around with it for a little bit. So there you go. So that's smooth. It's flush in there against the, the brake. And then the other side, all you gotta do is just screw that in. There's your screw. That threads not only into that axle, but it threads into that threaded part of the frame as well. So you'll see that there's, I don't know if you can tell, there is two different thread thicknesses on there. It's coming out my, my camera, but basically it's threading into the, the axle and threading into the frame itself. So this is where the two tools come into handy. Put one on the one side and then screw thread the other side. So tighten that down and then that also should sit flush inside the frame just like that. You don't want to over tighten it make sure your wheels can still spin. That's, that's in there. Get your second one, thread that in there, and there you go. So now your brake is installed. See that's flush. You can 
It should sit right in there. There's a little groove in that frame that those axles and the screws should fit in. And then there you go. Brakes operational and you're ready to roll. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Be happy to answer them or reach out to us at rollerblade.com. All right. Take care.